Tom and uh, his father William Golden. He he he's the yeah. he's, he's the man who uh, graphic designed the what we call the CBSI, right? That's right. And That's uh, right. And you had a pillow in the house there. I uh, still have the pillow. You still have yeah. it, right? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I do. I kept it, yeah. Now, the, the story is with Tom. Tom's real name, if I'm mistaken, was Wilson? Now, so, yeah, his, um, his birth mother, their name, her name was Wilson. Now, she did marry... And so her name changed. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we met the birth aunts, but we never really met his mother. You know, it was kind of weird. Like, I don't know, she had married, um, you know, she was like a teenager when she had Tom. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and so then after that, she married. She never had any other children, but she never really... You know, like even when he was in contact with the ants and they gave us tons of pictures of, you know, um, great grandmothers and great grandfathers. And there was one picture in particular, I think it was a great grandmother. And I swear to God, Joe, it was like Tom in a dress. Oh, my God. You know, it was like maybe 1880s, I'd say, from the dress. You yeah, know? yeah. Um, but the face was Tom. Oh my God! It was Tom. So, um, so the ants were really lovely, you know, and and brought us all this stuff and wanted to get together. And but the mother never really, you know, like she would send a card maybe once in a while, you know, mm -hmm. for Christmas or something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she, yeah, I, you know, I don't know if it was just too painful for her to kind of reach out, you know, I, I don't know. Well, uh, Tom didn't see his mother at all after that, right? He was, he was born in 51, never. right? He was, so he never really, yeah. he wasn't really, you wonder why people even admit that they're, to their children that they, you know you're adopted. I wonder why they even said that, because, um, you know. Well, you, you know what? They wanted to be honest with him. Yeah. Is what, you know, it was, and, really they were raised Jewish and so they want because he so the interesting thing is now Tom was born now Tom's mother birth mother and father were both in New York and she became pregnant somehow somehow in that group of people somebody knew somebody and knew that CP wanted a baby really bad and couldn't have any yeah and they they arranged that but in New York State at the time, and this was, what, 51? Yeah. Um, at, in New York State at that time, a Jewish couple could not adopt a Gentile baby. Uh-huh. And so um, the mother had to go up to Boston. And so she had Tom up in Boston. That's where Tom was born. And that's where the adoption went through. So, in other words, uh, he is from uh, a woman of Irish descent. Oh, you know what? So, the family really is kind of very, um, from what the aunts told me, very American. You know, um, like his, I don't know, his great-great-great-grandfather or something like that was the sheriff of St. Louis. Oh, my God. I used to live there. Yeah. Yeah. So, um... And he, he was actually married to an Indian woman. Jesus Christ. So Tom Golden, yeah. um, his real name is, you're saying that William Golden, the man who was his father, is really Jewish? Yep, yep. And the woman he married, which was Tom's mother, what was her name again? C.P. C.P. Golden, what was her, what was she of? C.P. Uh, Pinellas. Golden. So Penelope was really like Greek or something. It, it's um, Spanish. You know what? She she's Austrian. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Uh, that, uh, that was her last name, though. And she, you know, she was the um, she was an art director. She was very um, 
she was very successful too, even though now you don't hear much about, you know, I mean, it's not like she designed something like the CBSI. No. But, um, but she, you know, she was very successful in her own right, you know? Y yes. Um, now she was gone. He died. I was reading. He died in '59. The father. When did the mother die? CP. CP died in like '91. That's just when I met Tom. Yep. Yep. You know. In January of '91 is when she died. Oh my God! I just met him. Um, I met him through Billy Rankin because I was at a, I was at a uh, open mic at the Coven Cafe. And Billy Rankin, oh, yeah. Billy Rankin said, you know, there's this band I play in, the Motivators, and do you have a band? Because the lady here, uh, uh, Vivian Check, wants you to play here, but you don't have a band. Maybe we could back you up. And I went to see him two nights later at the Hudson House. I did a couple of songs, and then they, two, three of the five came with me. Um, Tom Overgaard and John Kovac didn't, but Tommy Kovac, Tom Golden, and Billy Rankin did. And that's how I got to know you. You know, it's, it's all because of Billy Rankin being at an open mic one night in Nyack in early 91. It must have been just when Tom lost his mother, you know. But yeah, Tom, nice Tom told me of the time he drove in a 57 T-Bird in 1972. He drove to California and he started going out with Susie Cowsill and all that. And I said, I met her too. We had a lot in common from different time periods. I, yeah, think, yeah. I, I think he was born in, in the area... Oh, wait, he lived in the area of Harlem, New York, Tom, your husband, at one point. Yeah. And I was born there. I was born on 118th Street in Lexington Avenue. So a lot of things going on in the world that are very tied together. And, uh, you know, God has a plan. You heard that. And then, at first of all, I say, yeah. well, what, what kind of plan has he got? We got wars. We got Trump. We got Hillary. We got okay, what kind of plan is that, Jack? You know? <laughs> I mean, I don't really like this guy, God. And God is a thing that we make up. We make up a thing so that we feel that we good or bad upon. You know, people in this world, Carol, they, they made up this thing called God. And God could be a lot of things. God could be the person you pray to to win the lottery. God could be the, the person that you go to St. Anthony's Church every morning at 8 o'clock and pray to and don't care about the lottery. Uh, I think most of America, the gold, here I go on my soapbox, most of America is like a gold calf god. It's not really the god I grew up with, St. Andrews and St. Luke's Catholic School, you know. Um, mm -hmm. It's not that god. I'm not interested in those things, but most of the world that surrounds me, I got to be interested in it to fit in, you know. That's why I guess I'm a musician, you know. But look... Yeah. I, I'm glad you were there today. You know, we, we're doing a tribute to Tom on the. I had put those, I had posted those up uh, just a few months ago. Tri oh, tribute show. to Tom. Yeah. There's three tributes to your husband, and they oh, range yeah, from. I only saw two. Well, I'll okay. tell I'll tell you um what happened there. Why there's three? I'm thinking, but what happened was this. There's one that has uh, 50 uh, under a minute, two of them, and then there's one that has three minutes. And what I do is I try to explain with photos and moving images, videotaping the actual computer, I try to uh, bring people back in time and say, well, here's a gig we did in 92. And I met him over uh, in Stony Point and da-da-da-da-da, you know? I might do another one and throw you, your name in, I think. I'm going to have to find some. I might have some photos of you. Of, oh uh, uh, of you and Tom at a gig I did that he wasn't playing at, but he was at a gig in Nyack at uh, Stamien and St. Clair. In the afternoon, I used to do these gigs, like four in the afternoon. Oh, yeah. And like, you know, like with the band, I said, what are we waiting for tonight for? I would tell the owner. And he said, all right, go on four o'clock to eight. I said, let's do it. I think he came once and I found some photos. And you know, I, I like to put that up. Uh, and I forgot to ask you, how are you, you know, we're talking about your mother, your son, uh, are you healthy? Are you okay? You got no problems, or you know? Yeah, no, I don't know. I have no problems. Good. You know, I'm Every, hanging in there. Yeah, you know. I mean, you're still going to work. You don't still have to. Going to work, still working. Yeah. You get you get you worn know. out. You'll get worn out taking care of mom and everything. That's normal. You know, I, I mean. <laughs> but I'm glad. I'm glad you're there for mom. You know. 
the, the, you know what? It's it's worked out. It may not be exactly what I want or had yeah. in mind. Mm -hmm. You know, like you were saying. You know, you have your ideas, what you want to do. But you know what? It it kind of works. So I, how can I fight it? You know. Um, well, think you know, of this. Here, really, here's a way of looking at it. <clears throat> what would you be doing had you not moved in? To your mother's, you'd be still back yeah. at the. You'd still be back at the ranch, with with the situation unfolding of a continuous, heavy duty overhead. Unless you moved in people and said, "Oh, right, you get this floor, you get that floor. I need a thousand a month from this couple." And that you'd be sitting on an easy street then. But but right. but what happened was that, you know, you're the type of person that takes care of people, and believe me, there's a lot of kids that wouldn't go help their mother the way. You're helping your mother just as much as she's helping you. Yeah, I, you know, I think uh, I think it is good for all of us, you know. Um, yeah. You know, and really, if I was in my own apartment, what, I would I, what would I be doing? I'd be sitting, you know, sitting at home alone, you know. So, you know, having company is good, you know. Yeah, you, you've, been, you've been, you know... Uh, a widow for a long time, and you know, if you get married, you get married again. But you know, you, you, your your path right now is to be in way with your mom and uh, to help her. I mean, there, there's so many things that you could have done. Yes, I got that, and I there's things right. I could have done, but I'm looking yeah. at I'm looking at it like you know. Later in life, I keep getting these three words in my head. Later in life, you'll be able to recuperate from all this. It won't be so right. bad, you know what I mean? Yeah. It won't be such a bad thing. Try not to hold on to everything. I could be doing this. I could have been. This is what you're supposed to be doing, you know. I could yeah. be in New York doing this. Nothing. You already did all that. Do something new, you know. So anyway, yeah. you're going to get something to eat now? Is mom cooking? Because maybe I'll come over. <laughs> yeah, come on over. Uh, no. tell you, what's, your, what's your mom's name? She needs stew tonight. What, what's her name? All right, so say tomorrow, this guy Joe says hello. I will. And he knew Tom, and where was Miles today? Is he around? So Miles went out tonight, so he went out with his friends. Good. He was here before, but you know what? That's the kind of thing that, that's exactly what I want to see. You know, I, you know, we had dinner, and then he's like, oh, I'm going out. You know, so much better, so much better. Yeah, he's better. You know, he's eating. He put on the weight again. He doesn't feel... He put uh, on a little bit of weight. She's feeding him, you know. I mean, he's actually getting up in the morning, making his own oatmeal, which, you know, I was buying things for him to eat up at the house, but he wouldn't make it. I got you. Um, you know, and I wasn't there to say, did you make your breakfast? Did, you know, so... Well, where was he? He yeah. was. He had his own apartment or he had his own little dorm? Oh, no, he was up in his room. You know, you know, when you're in that big house, if you want to be closed off, you can. Oh, yeah, yeah I know what you mean. Yeah. So he was up in his room, and he would, like, not come down, not come out of his room at all. No, that's you that's know? that's so. pretty bad, you know. That, that means they're yeah. depressed, they're depressed, and they don't want to. My sister did that a lot. We don't want to no. be around. Uh, I don't want to just, Mom, are you going to come over? Buy me this and that. Just leave it out on the front of the door, you know. My mother was delivering for a while. She had a delivery job oh to, her, to her sister. That's what pissed me off, you know. Right. But um, I'm glad you called, and we'll, we'll talk again. you got to keep in touch, you know. you got my number. Oh, yes, you know, Joe, yes. You know? I have your number, and you have my number. You also know my mother's number. How on earth did you find my mother's phone number? Well, I'll help you with that. Here's how you do it, okay? If you know anything, you go online a lot. You go on the Internet. 